Today, we take a look at our first mission from the Scions of the Eastern... I don't even remember the name. Scions of... Oh, you get it. You know what it is. I'm sure you've seen it already, right? Scions of Destiny or Eastern Dawn or something like that. Yeah. Welcome, friends, to a new episode of Final Fantasy Online. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day, and we are back. I'm loving this game. I am so excited to be moving forward. Uh, last episode, we left off here in the Waking Sands, and now we're going to kind of get started on our journey within the Scions of Destiny. So let's take a look. Uh, we Scions have uh, but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as Primals. Long has striven to find the lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know what uh, it is you desire for yourself, nor what it is the first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Nalia. I will go whither the wild rose blooms. Yours is no small endeavor. The dangers are great. We're going to do this. Um, Milphilia uh, is waiting to hear whether or not you will pledge. Yeah, we're going to do the... We're going to pledge to the Science of Dawn. I, I take it destiny. you will help us. Yes. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Of course. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the order. Okay, we Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? No. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelves Wood. Hello there. Welcome. <gasps> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is... He is our man here in Ulda. Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. I never doubted that you'd come. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. Last but not least is Uriange who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, 
I would assign you your first task. Eriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amosia, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, fair lady. Interesting. The plot thickens. So we have to go search out a primal. This should be fun. Let's see how this goes. Um, okay, um, let's talk to Thancred and see what's up. So, ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate the crystal robbery and spat of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like th that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack of the cavern, our friends at Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concern have doubled security over their all their shipments. In the light of this, it is my judgment that the abduction should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so we'd seem to find place to begin. Uh, a fellow by the name of Isma Ismabard is Isembard. Is uh, serves the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit. See if he gives us his full cooperation. Okay. Well, let's um, let's go find out. Yes. Leave the solar. Very good. All right. Let's see what we have here. Whoops. Map. <laughs> all right so oh we're quite a ways away yeah all right a wild rose by the other name let's go to eastern thanalan and head over to camp dry bone for good measure um all right isembard hey buddy I am a Sembard, uh, here to search for the missing folk, I take it. Minfilia sent word of adventure, fitting your description, would be along. She also warned us to be wary of Amalja. Uh, it seems we know who culprits are, at the very least. Uh, now, I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to look uh, to me for leadership. Uh, you have my word that I will do all I can to help see the victim safely returned. Okay. Um, all 
All right, let's continue on. Let's get right to it then. Mephilia uh, names the Amalja culprits in all of this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied on the lands of Amalja hands. Uh, the flames burn where they might, but their light cannot stay in the darkness. Stay the darkness in all the places at all times. There has been a brutal murders uh, of the callers in the Church of Saint Adama, Adama Landama, a Andama Land Landama. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Innocent wishing. Okay, respect the dead. Poor souls deserve proper burial. Yes. Uh, would you secure the remains for a friend? You would find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing. You may even come to learn something of what the. Amalja seem seek in this area. Okay, um, let's head out to where we need to go. So let's take a look. Um, unsolved mystery. So I believe we just have to go out that way, which is up the road and out. Okay, let's see what we can find here. So we should be able to take a hard left and be on our way to this unsolved mystery over here. All right, there's the tipped wagon. So I'm guessing Tuco Tucos, we need to fight them too. So, ooh, here's a ripe corpse. This looks bad news. All right, so we've got a couple of buddies here. forgot to. That's okay. It happens. I'm still learning my cycle of things. We'll get there. Alright, we need to interact with all of these guys and get what we need. Okay, we've retrieved all their stuff. Let's go back to the camp and turn this into Izembard. Okay, very good. So that was fruitful. Looks like we've maybe we've solved something of the uh, the mystery here. I'm not quite sure what I've accomplished by gathering those ripe ripe corpses. Let's see. I see. Uh, it's good to see you returned. Were you able to secure the remains of our fallen? Yes. Um, hand over. There we go. With the bodies given back to proper to the earth, the souls will find their way across to the other side. You have done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Now then, what of uh, the Amalja? Amalja? I think is how it's pronounced, if I remember correctly, from what we just heard a little while ago. Um, did you see any? Uh, surely such a massive monstrosity as they cannot conceal their presence, uh, much less take their quarry unwares. Ah, so there were Amalja, Amalja remaining after all. I feared as much uh, their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there is more than meets the eye. The occasional Amalja raiding party uh, would not account for people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The total is too great and the concern, the questions too many. Uh, it would not surprise me in the least to learn of another hand in this, but whose? Countless travelers pass through Drybone every day. And even if uh, it were among one of them, what, even if we're one among them, how would we best discover who may be implicit 
in these vanishings. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's what that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay. Uh, what we say, uh, what say we turn an eye to the common folk themselves? I may, it may be among them where we can find reasons of these vanishings. Twelve forbid it be so. There is a merchant by the name of Ungust who was born here in Drybone and grew up in the Golden Bazaar. A rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. I'd wager he's at the inn, quaffing away uh, the day's earnings. He'll, here, I'll write an, a, a note for you to show him, and he's not like to speak to you. Okay, so let's go head over to the inn, uh, which should be behind us here. So I'm guessing it's in this building here. Okay, perfect. So he's probably inside of here. And he's a surly character that there he is on Gust. Hey, man. Well, gods be damned. You're that bloody adventurer who threatened me back in Ulda. Uh, what in the seventh hell do you want with me now? Dude, I want to kill you. You're going to talk to me and you're going to like it, man. Dear friend, Belch, missing people. Please help. Pick up. Yours is Embard. Folk around here are wary as they come. They, ta they turn tail and run, if so, as much pass a wind nearby. Uh, play them all the fools and coaxed some hard labor out of them. I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before. What with all the disappearances, you can go talk to them yourself if you don't believe me. All right, so you are useless, bro. Okay, so now we have to go talk to all the people in the uh, in the area. So let's do that. Hungry beggar. Hey, buddy. Please, miss. Just leave me be. Really? Okay, so you just run away. That's cool. Uh, devious derelict. I have nothing to say. They'll take who whatever has been feeding off us low folk. Okay. All right. A petrified pauper. What, what do you want with me? Uh, I, I don't know anything, I swear. Please don't kill me. I'm not going to hurt you, man. I, I want to help. All right, so I'm guessing we need to go talk to the drunk ass in the inn. You know, obviously, because he's a dirtbag. Hey, dirtbag. Dirtbag Ungust, you a-hole. I just told you, wasn't it? Uh, the whole lot of them are terrified. <laughs> There's been talk of folk getting abducted, but if you ask me, they're simply up and move to a better place. This place isn't exactly Costa del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. Ungust, you are useless. You are a jerk. Okay, let's go talk to Azembed because none of that was helpful whatsoever. That was just a waste of time, clearly. Although maybe not, maybe nobody talking about anything means something, perhaps. That, hmm, the lack of information may be information itself. Uh, welcome back, Nali. Have you learned aught is important? I see. I suppose I should have expected as much from Ungust. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak freely to the gods, then the clergy may know something. Okay, so a brass circlet. All right. Unless it's something better than our stuff, we're just going to pick that that stuff. So, okay, we have action thunder. Oh, beautiful. So I think we can change out thunder with thunder 2 now. So that's fun. Okay, cool. I like learning things. Um, all right, so... Disciple of War. We're not a disciple of war. Uh, if we know what the common folk speak to their gods, we've no better place to ask them. The Church of St. Amodalandama. It is a small, humble church uh, found northwest of here. And so long as you are headed there, might as well ask you to deliver this embalmed corpse. Uh, a morbid request, I grant you. <laughs> but it must be born to a burial, and I trust no one more than you to see it done. Seek out a man named Marquez, uh, Marquez or Marcus. I don't know exactly how that's spelled or uh, pronounced, but we're close. 
Uh, he tends to the graves in Lich in the Lich Yard. Uh, he will tell you where the body is to be intended. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the map. Where do we need to head to? Um, Witchwood. Okay, so we need to go head up there. I'm going to go run up that way then. So I think if we go this way, we should be good to go. Okay, so it was really just right up the hill. Camp Dry Bones right down below, but um, I was thinking it was further away. All right, let's talk to Marquez. Hi, Marquez. Yes, a body? Of course. There, there have been so many bodies as of late. I, I apologize, miss. Uh, if you speak, if you seek a place of burial, then there is an empty grave atop of the ridge. Take uh, the path and have him lay there. Okay, so... I guess we'll go up to the top of the ridge, lay the body, which is exactly what Wartooth Toki is doing from Nuke. So that's fun. We are going to use Embalmed Corpse. Let's place it here. There we go. We laid the body. All right, we buried the corpse. We did a great job. Let's go talk to Marquez. May they walk in the Thal's realm. What's missing people? What, missing people? I'm afraid I cannot help you, but maybe Sister Arkin can. Orkin? Arkin can. Uh, she has been kind to me. Everyone, everyone has been so kind. I don't know why, though. I, uh, pardon me, you will find Sister Okren, uh in our church walls. Okay, so she's obviously in here. Let's go talk to her. Hey, lady. I hear you have done us the service of burying a fallen soul. Please accept our gratitude and extend it to Isenbard next time you see him. Hmm, you seek knowledge of missing drybone inhabitants? Uh, it is true, I am closer to the people than any other of the order. I confide in them and they confide in me. When they wish to speak to their keeper, Thal, I am the medium through which they do. Excuse me. Uh, should I learn anything pertinent, I'll be share I will be sure to share the information with you. Sigh. I only wish Marquez uh, would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. Uh, his scars run deep. Uh, indeed, he seems to now prefer the company of the dead or the, over the living. Uh, while tragic, I fear such behavior ill befits the church. Uh, I received word not long ago that one of our recent visitors, a man called Thancred, I believe, took offense at his conduct. I must have words with Marcus and soon. Yeah, you should. I don't know. He didn't offend me. <laughs> it might have offended somebody, but I don't know. you got to be pretty thick-skinned if you're going to be doing adventuring, so... Relax, everybody else. Thancred should relax. Maybe I should tell Thancred what's up. <laughs> All right, let's go down here and talk to Izembed and Izembard, and we should be good to go. Finish this guy, this bad boy up. All right, here we go. Cutscene. Thank you, Nali. A burial is no easy thing, even when the departed is a stranger. Were you able to learn aught the missing common folk? No, nobody's told me anything, man. Um, I'm an outsider. You've been keeping yourself rather busy of late, haven't you, Nalia? Yeah, Thancred, you need to relax. My pleasure, my dear Isambard. The name is Thancred, and I share this passion with you and our mutual friend here for learning what his become of these missing persons and why I spoke to Ungst more times than I care to count there seems to be some truth to the notion that common folk speaking their secrets only to have their service to the gods 
Prostration, prayer, penance, abject deeds done behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Who better to take the pious unware, unawares than she who takes confession, the sister Akron herself? Akin, she wouldn't. She couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend, and you would be wise to keep an eye on this rose. Still, the Lich Keeper Marquez, I'd swear to the Twelve, I've seen that face elsewhere before. Okay, so we have these different robes. Soot. It's got soot black dye. Oh, I bet those look cool. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? I don't know. I really have no idea what I should choose. Probably doesn't matter at this point. We'll get stuff when we need them. <laughs> All right. Well, friends, I think this is a really good place to stop, and we can pick up in the next episode with um, more from Isambard and these dealings of the uh, primal that's around, apparently. So these people are disappearing, and we need to figure out why. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed your day and this video. Uh, please make sure to take a look at the next one. I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care and be well.